Intensive care unit and high dependency unit cases continue to be high even as the Ministry of Health is noticing a general decline in the number of persons requiring hospitalizations for COVID-19. Speaking at the Ministry's virtual media conference today, Wednesday, Principal Medical Officer Dr. Miriam Abdul-Richard said there's a high number of critically ill COVID-19 patients. Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. While there has been a noticeable decline in the number of persons requiring medical attention for COVID-19 by the Ministry of Health, Principal Medical Officer Dr. Miriam Abdul-Richards is still advising citizens to take the necessary precautions to protect themselves. In summary, we are seeing a general decline in the overall hospital occupancy as well as the ward occupancy from June 1st onwards. However, the ICU and the HDU occupancies continue to be high, which indicates that we continue to see very ill patients at the HDU and ICU. As she gave an update on the capacity in the parallel health care system, Dr. Abdul Richard said the intensive care unit levels where most ill patients go is at 90%, while 98% of the ICU beds in Trinidad are filled. Um, in the HDU, a high dependency unit, in where our next or, or the critically ill patients are also placed, the IC, sorry, the high dependency unit capacity is currently at 59%. The ward level patients at present, uh, they, it's the overall capacity is at 48%. So at this point in time, half of our ward beds in Trinidad and Tobago are filled. In Trinidad, the ward capacity is at 52%, while in Tobago, it's at 21%. Dr. Abdul Richards said the overall occupancy level in the parallel healthcare system is at 51%, noting that Trinidad and Tobago's occupancy is at 54%. She said this has represented a general decline. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.